and hello welcome to the fourth video of building this model railway apologies for not having a video up before now it's been a while but i injured my back so i was out of action for quite some time but here we are back to square one again right or square four maybe in this case so this part is going to be building the main street with the shops and a couple of houses on it opposite the green now this part takes up four of the quadrants so we have to take out a section from each part of the quadrant um, they recommend that you cut along the center of the roadway when you're doing this which is what I did now the first quadrant as you can see here it's tiny that's all it takes up and it's so irritating it's such a small a small space to go in that little uh, top right hand corner there so you cut along the center of the road and that's what you end up with so basically what you're cutting out is a gap right so the second quadrant then takes up the junction the left hand side of the the street layout and it's also a junction there where the road meets the church where that's going to go and that's what that looks like when you again cut down the center of the road they recommend to get a more accurate finish now the third quadrant was the majority of it so that takes up practically the entire um, section and it's going to contain both houses and the shop and even some of the gardens as well are going to be in this um, and once again cutting down the center you have your massive part of the template which will join up with the other two so far now the fourth part takes up is usually only a bit of the road that's all that's going to be and this will be the road that will be opposite the green which is opposite the, the train station so again cutting down the middle you have your template now ready so the next thing to do now is to join all these together because when they fit together that that's where they're going to go they should fit in there perfectly that's where the main street area is going to be so here we are the four quadrants all stuck together that's what they're going to look like and this forms your template then to build on so taping them all together i put them onto some gray card and build it did out this template as you can see it here unfortunately the gray card wasn't long enough so i had to use two sections and just tape it together but it's no big deal because it's all going to be placed on mounting board to give it some thickness anyway so that's what that looked like and as you can see that's where it fits now to get the pavement as you Americans call it as we call it over here in Ireland the pat they do print it out in the magazine for you and it's all lined and everything so it's, it's fairly straightforward fairly easy to do and um, for some reason I got two copies of it they printed out an error one apparently so they gave us fresh one so this is what it looks like when you have the pat all laid out on it and it's just stuck down with print stick that's all I used there and it was fairly good now the curbs right they were coming up next and to be honest with you the curbs were a pig they really were a pig because you don't have much room to work with they're only a few millimeters wide and to try and get them level as you can see here i was using the cutting board to try and get the the, the same width all the way along the entire um template so again stuck down with print stick took a bit of an effort especially going around the bends as you can see there so hopefully when it dries out it'll look good so the next stage for this would be to stick it onto mountain board, tick it up, and move on to the next stage. So hope you enjoy that. Look forward to the next video.